Brent Fleck here with your news briefing. The Queensland government's giving those in hotspots keen to head to the state an early Christmas present. It's been confirmed the border reopening date will now happen next Monday with travellers able to cross state lines provided they're fully vaccinated, return a negative test 72 hours before arrival and get another test on day five in the state. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says it's great so many people will now be reunited early ahead of the holidays. Some of them haven't seen their grandkids for the first time. Some of them haven't seen their aunts and uncles, their mothers and fathers. Uh, this is going to be a very, very special time of the year. The state's tipped to hit an 80% vaccine milestone at some stage this week. It's a different story when it comes to South Australian borders. Officials there foreshadowing the prospect of tighter rules at state lines as Omicron COVID cases continue to rise. There's been four COVID cases in that state today. New South Wales Omicron tally has now grown to 25, following 10 new cases of the variant overnight. Meantime, the Catherine lockdown's been extended 24 hours after a three-year-old contracted COVID there. And we're being encouraged to buy more products made from recycled materials with the PM launching his Remade in Australia campaign today. Scott Morrison says a ban on Sporting the likes of tyres and glass means we need to manufacture rubbish into something new and he's also hopeful it'll create more jobs. Every 10,000 tonnes of waste that we save, um, that's creating jobs creating jobs on every occasion and waste not going in the landfill but going into recycling is creating more and more jobs in fact three times the jobs Selling the family home, Miller, One and John put you first. This is SAFM with us. But tomorrow, partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers, top of 18 and a low of 10. The Listener app is your new home of local news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs>